a mix of meth and crack houses. This is a bed bug stain. As you can see, that could lacerate and cut yourself. This is the laundry room. This is where we get our laundry. There is a hotel in Myrtle Beach that is kind of known for being sketchy. Uh, it's the Polynesian Beach and Golf Resort. So I wanted to take time to objectively present to you some information and let you decide if this is the worst hotel in Myrtle Beach. Let's start here. There is a subreddit called Myrtle Beach Avoids, and maybe you should too. This is a list of areas that are known by the locals as areas you probably should not be caught in. Now, on this list, specifically called out with its own bullet point, is the Polynesian Hotel. So, with that in mind, let's start with their website. Let's see what they offer and the photos they present. And from there, we'll go to individual reviews that I found online. This is the Polynesian Oceanfront Hotel. This is a pretty straightforward boilerplate uh, hotel website. Nothing too extravagant thus far. You can see that the company that owns this hotel owns a few. So let's go to the rooms. Let's see the oceanfront room. Uh, we'll see some of these pictures and we'll keep these pictures in mind as we see personal reviews, photos, and videos later in this video. So these rooms look uh, fairly clean. Uh, I mean, they are affordable rooms. These are not the, the high priced rooms that you'll see in the newer resorts. So these photos are what you'd expect to get for the price you're paying. So based off this list, there are different styles of rooms. They have efficiencies, they have standard double beds, nothing out of the ordinary. But I do want to point out as I flip through these photos, the uh, lack of updates, um, which does, isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but I just want to point out that they actually have a bullet point on their list here that says we have color cable televisions interesting fact uh, to add that to their list of uh, what the room includes oh and it includes a room phone that's very important because that's something uh, that most hotels don't have the amenities are run-of-the-mill a uh, hot tub pool oceanfront I will point out that they do allow pets uh, I'm gonna focus on that because a lot of the reviews mention that the rooms do smell like pet and sometimes human urine uh, and that's what the reviews say. So now that we know that this hotel is on a list of avoids, according to locals, uh, and that we have seen their website, let's just see what the news has to say about this hotel. One of the first things that pops up, I mean, this isn't recent, this is 2014, but it's worth mentioning. Shots fired inside hotel room. So this specifically calls out the Polynesian Hotel as the location. Here's another one. Police respond to local hotel more than 50 times so far in 2013. 50 times as of May. That's, that's a lot that soon. This is also 2013, so let's take that in consideration. Uh, and maybe they've turned themselves around in the past five years, six years. Let's. Let's find out, because we're going to look at some more recent reviews. Here's another interesting case, uh, more recently, January 2018, where there was an armed robbery that went down at two separate locations. The city of Myrtle Beach tracked down the individuals via local uh, closed circuit uh, cameras and guess where they found out they were staying you guessed it the polynesian
Another example of the Polynesian Hotel showing up in the local news. Uh, there was someone that was forced at knife point to pull money out of an ATM. And where did this occur? Well, right next door to the Polynesian Resort, of course. Now that we've seen what the local news has to say about this hotel, let's see what the actual customers have to say. The people who laid their head down on the hotel's pillows, covered themselves with the hotel's blankets, and enjoyed the ocean view. Right off the bat, you can see that it's got 1.5 circles, stars, whatever. 1.5 out of 5 out of 718 reviews. Based off those 718 reviews, this hotel is ranked 198 out of 209 hotels listed on this website. So, this website's not calling it the worst, and I'm not calling it the worst. I'm just gonna show you guys these reviews, and uh, you decide if this is the worst hotel in Myrtle Beach. And if you think that there's one worse off than this, then let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've stayed at the Polynesian, or if you were or are planning on it. That being said, at the time of this recording, this is January. It's listed as $30 a night. Firstly, let's just focus on the star ratings, or the circle ratings, whatever you want to call them. 70% are terrible and 11% are poor. That means 81% of all reviews posted for this hotel are negative. And the two that immediately show up are awful, and don't even consider staying here. So now I am intrigued. I want to learn more. Let's learn more. So we have one review that says, awful, I don't know how this business can keep running. To sum it up, it smells, it's nasty. Not everything is working properly. The next one down says, don't even consider staying here. This has got to be the worst hotel resort I have ever in my life come in contact with. That's, that's harsh. That's really harsh. Let's see what the next one says. Roach Motel and Crack House. Oh, that's not good. Disgusting. This is the worst hotel ever. It is filled with criminals and drug dealers. Stay away. The owners should be ashamed of how this dump is not taken care of. Interesting. Overpriced. This hotel could be free and I wouldn't stay here again. Worst motel ever ever. Dirty, bug-ridden, dangerous hoodlums hanging around in the hallways. The smells. Here's a reoccurring theme I kept seeing in all these horror stories. This one right here. The hotel would not refund my money. Again, several people have been complaining about this, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about booking this hotel. When it comes to the hotel business, the one thing you do not want to be known for is bed bugs. Uh, this is something that is another reoccurring theme in a lot of these negative reviews. There's a lot of evidence of blood flecking, actual seeing physical bed bugs, like in this picture depicted right here, and photos of people with bed bug bites, which are pretty obvious if you see them. So. This is a pretty negative check against the hotel. That's a little bed bug right there. Hard to see in that picture, but it's there. Another reoccurring issue with the hotel that a lot of these reviews share is the fact that the doors don't lock properly. And this is one of the pictures from one of those reviews. I just wanted to point this out because a lot of the feedback that these reviewers give is that the area is not very safe. And if your door doesn't lock in an area like that, that's definitely not a good thing. Based on the information provided so far, it's fairly negative. But these are just internet reviews. Anyone can just type in whatever they want, uh, even if it's not true. So let's look at some actual first-hand accounts. The following are just a few video reviews and feedback that were publicly available on YouTube that I decided to make quick cuts of and show you guys and gals so you have a better understanding of what we're talking about. Here, I'm down in South Carolina, 
right on the beach. I'm gonna do a review of the Polynesian Hotel and Resort. Uh, hopefully this will never happen to you if you're watching. If you come in, you can see the rug is completely soiled. There's even some brown stuff on the curtain, which could be feces. Once again, I'm at the Polynesian uh, in South Carolina on Myrtle Beach. Um, the bed is disgusting. There was mouse droppings in the air conditioning unit, which is always good. That will kill you. The room actually smells like a mix of meth and crack houses. This is a review of the Polynesian on Myrtle Beach. We really couldn't even use the toilet. As you can see, that could lacerate and cut yourself really bad. Do not ever stay at the Polynesian Resort. Please don't let this happen to you. It is absolutely disgusting. Uh, prostitution, drugs, and universally known as one of the worst hotels in the country, in the whole world. This next video uh, was a little deceiving at first. When I was watching it, I thought maybe this was the parking garage that we were looking at. Uh, maybe some sort of utility hallway. Then, the person filming opens the door to their room. And I realized that this is just the hallway full of rentable rooms. Overall, nothing too extreme shown in this video, just a basic lack of cleanliness, I would say, and a interesting hallway that I would deem a little uncomfortable. This is the Polynesian Hotel that we thought was a resort. This is the laundry room. This is where we get our laundry. Isn't this nice? Yes. It's very comforting to know that this is where we're getting our laundry. This hotel has not been updated in years, although the website makes it look very nice. It's very dirty and smelly out here. Look at the toilet. What's inside the toilet was what we got when we got here. And the tub looks like it has not been cleaned in six months. <laughs> that was it. This is what's in here for us to use. This is our fuse box from 1970-something. And by the way, this is $700 for three days. <laughs> there you go. I can pick up the stains. These are bed bugs, maybe? Not really sure what they are. But I will tell you, if you look down and lift this up, this is a bed bug stain. See that? That's where bed bugs resided. This is our room that we're sleeping on on these sheets. But I think especially is important to, is to have an outlet on right the ceiling. The, on the ceiling. And if you look at this curtain, all it does is have stains all over it. Very nasty. This whole place is nasty. And if you look at the videos of the Polynesian Hotel on the internet, it looks like a very nice place. But you come here and it's very deceiving on the internet. So we would rate this. After we done paid $700. After we paid $700 for three nights, we'd probably rate this up from a five star hotel. This would probably be a .05 out of five stars. I had them move us from our first room because it was such a dump. It was worse. It was worse. And this is our second room that was supposed to be an upgrade. Do not stay at this hotel. Now with all that information provided, the first-hand video accounts, the online reviews, the news reports, and the subreddit that the locals run that tell visitors where not to go, this being on that list. With all of that taken into consideration, I ask you, the viewer, is this the worst hotel in Myrtle Beach? And if it's not, what is? Leave a comment down below. Let me let me know what you think about this hotel specifically, and if you have any first-hand accounts you'd like to share about the Polynesian.